What's up everyone? Today I'm talking about clothes and what to wear on a film set. So I know through personal experience that if you're new to filming or just the film industry and you're working on a film, whether it be a bigger budget production or just a small short film, there's not a lot of information for what you as the crew should be wearing when you're on set working. Since there aren't a lot of resources out there that I could find at least, I thought I would make this video and talk about what I think you should or maybe shouldn't wear on set. So the first thing I have to say is to wear comfortable clothing. This probably goes without saying, but it's really important because on most shoots you're going to be working a minimum of 12 hour days. Film days can be very long, you're on your feet for long hours, so it's really important to make sure that you are comfortable. For me that looks like jeans and a t-shirt or just something really simple and casual. And if you happen to have something with pockets like cargo pants, that's always a great option too. You can never have too many pockets, though good luck with that one if you're a woman because women's pockets are ridiculously small and pointless. Okay, the next thing is even though you want to choose comfortable clothing, make sure that you're not wearing anything too baggy or bulky. You want to make sure that you can move around and that your clothes don't hinder you in any kind of way. Something more fitted is always going to be a little more comfortable and easier to move around in anyways, so avoid baggy oversized clothes. Alright, my next tip is to dress for the weather. If you're shooting out in the cold, dress warm. If, or if you're shooting out in the summer and it's hot out, dress for the heat. Make sure what you're wearing is still practical and for colder weather or if you're just not sure, layers are your best friend. As someone who grew up in the Pacific Northwest, layers are kind of second nature to me, but I know a lot of the rest of the world doesn't really understand that concept. But what I mean by layers is start with a thin layer like a tank top or just a very light t-shirt then wear something a little heavier over that, either a long sleeve shirt or maybe a sweater, and then on top of that, wear a heavier jacket. So that way you can start out with the heaviest layers and work your way down as the day goes and as you need to. Make sure you are either wearing layers or bring something to change in if the weather is questionable or could change. Also in the summer, it may be tempting to just go out in shorts and a tank top, you can do that, but I wouldn't recommend it just because you don't want to get sunburned. I would recommend having a layer over your shoulders or any areas that you know are going to get burned easily. Again, everybody's different, so that's going to look different for each and every person. But I would recommend not dressing like you're going to the beach, but still dress in comfortable, cool clothes, but try to stay covered as much as you can because you don't want to be burned and have four days left in the shoot and be working again for 12 hour days with burned shoulders. It doesn't sound fun at all. My next point is to wear comfortable shoes. This is probably the most important point. If you take any of this advice, this is the piece to take. You want to invest in a pair or probably a couple pairs of really good shoes. Um, they can be tennis shoes or hiking boots or whatever you find comfortable. I have a pair of hiking boots and a pair of tennis shoes. Um, they're like running shoes that are just super comfortable for standing all day, every single day, and it's worth the money. You spend $50, $100, whatever you need to, to find something that's comfortable. When you're on set, you're going to be standing for hours on end. If you are new to this industry, you need to know that you're going to be on your feet all day, every single day. Believe me, I speak from experience. This is a really important point, invest in good shoes. For cold weather, I have been on a couple shoots that were out in the snow and the rain, and for me, another important investment shoe-wise is rubber boots. So I really like hunter boots. This video is not in any way sponsored by them. This is just my own opinion. I love their boots. Um, you get the cheap rain boots from Target, Walmart, whatever. They always leak for me. I don't know why, but they always have a hole in them. These boots, they're a little spendy. They cost somewhere around $120 for a pair, but they are worth the money. I've had this pair for over a year now, and they are not only great at keeping water out like rain boots should do, they are also the most comfortable shoes I have ever owned so they're very good for film sets and believe me when you're out working for long long hours out on a shoot the last thing you want to be is wet and have wet socks and feet it's it makes everything so much worse being wet so invest in good outdoor shoes the next thing i wanted to say is make sure all of the clothes that you wear you are okay with getting dirty 
you don't want to be worrying about what you look like in any kind of way because again you're going to be on set all day for many days you won't have time or energy to worry about what you look like or if you're keeping everything clean because again on set you're gonna get dirty your clothes are gonna get dirty it's just a part of the job because you don't know what you're going to be doing if you're going to be crawling on the ground even just as a wardrobe person i end up on the ground somehow every single time cleaning actors after they're on the ground or maybe just fixing pieces of their costumes especially if you're working outdoors like staying clean is not an option so make sure whatever you wear you are okay with getting dirty don't wear anything nice or expensive on set you're all going to be sleep deprived anyways nobody cares what you look like all right and my last clothing suggestion is hats I like just simple baseball caps because they work with everything, they're simple and they're easy, um, plus they work well with putting your hair up, which is also a good point for anyone with longer hair, I would recommend pulling your hair back and up. I mean, some people just do everything with their hair down, but I like to get it out of the way. Baseball caps are great because you can wear your hair up, keep your hair up out of the way, and it kind of covers it because, again, you're not going to be looking great, you're not going to have time to do your hair every single day. So. I definitely recommend having a couple of different hats. I like to get logo free hats, that way behind the scenes does not have to blur any logos or anything like that out. As someone who works in wardrobe, I'm probably more aware of that than anyone else would be. So that's just my own personal preference, you do whatever you want. Sometimes the productions will even give you hats and jackets with the production logo on it. Alright, so now that I've gone over what kinds of clothes, I wanted to talk about colors. This is something that a lot of people probably don't think about, but colors are actually pretty important for what you're wearing when you're working around the camera. Say you're working near the camera and they're setting up lighting and setting up for a shot, and so someone like me who's working with the actors who's going to be on set in front of the camera fixing wardrobe pieces while they're setting up the next shot, if I'm wearing a bright either white or neon green shirt or something, it's going to cast a shadow, the light's going to reflect off of it, and it could mess up the shot. They could adjust for that in the camera, or the lighting might get messed up somehow. So it's best to avoid bright colors. The best option is always going to be black because it absorbs all light. Um, white is not ideal because it reflects light. So you're going to be adding more light into the shot than they probably want if you're standing right next to the lights and the camera. So it's best to wear muted, darker colors. So this is my advice on what to wear on set. These are just my own ideas and guidelines that I've used for myself over the last several years and on the shoots that I've been on, but I hope that they're helpful for you. If you liked this or found it interesting, go ahead and like this video, and if you want to see more and help support me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button too. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.